Contestant number six, Rick Chandler, bless your heart. Bless your heart, Rick Chandler. <laughs> It was 5 a.m. on a cold Monday morning in May when the phone rang. Uh, Happy Mother's Day, jerk! <laughs> Hi, Mom. at and busiest day of the year. Why are you being shot, son? He can't call. Everybody else's mother got a call on Mother's Day. <laughs> Mr. Contest Master, fellow Toastmasters, at that moment, at 5 a.m., I wrote the advanced manual on excuses. <laughs> I was busy at work. But that didn't work with my mom, and I went down for the first game. I was traveling with my friends, and that didn't work, and I went down for the second game. And then I said the impardonable problem, the dog had eaten my, my Mother's Day present. And I heard the clouds part and heard the noise. Eat! Wrong answer. My mother's one of those dog people. Do you know them? Women that love their children, but they love their dogs more. <laughs> she loved the way those dogs bark and wag their tails when she came home. Or all us kids asked was, what was for dinner? And then she said those words that every southern boy does not want to hear. Oh, bless your heart. Now for you transplants, you may not know that when a southern woman blesses your heart, it means she's cursed your soul. <laughs> My mother called every morning at 5 a.m. until I sent my father the check and he cashed it. And that son of a gun waited two days to cash the check. <laughs> I learned early to fear my mother. She seemed to be in a perpetual state of menopause and had me going all the time. <laughs> when I was a young boy, it was one of those times where she wanted me to go play with one of the neighbors, the young girl. And I said, girls are dumb. They're stupid. She gave me that look, and I was scared. My knees were crying. Later that day, she took me to the department store. And I had to learn later that in the 1960s, a woman could be denied a credit card if she didn't have her husband's permission. And my mother had just gotten her credit card. We went to the customer service desk, and she said, there's a problem with my credit card. It has the wrong name. The lady looked at her and says, Mrs. Richard Chandler, isn't that your name? No. Well. Isn't that your husband's name? No, he's Mr. Richard Jean. <laughs> I'm Mrs. Jean, Ms. Jean Chandler. The poor lady, embarrassed, said, man, that's just policy. Get your manager. <laughs> this poor young man walked up with his little tie. He couldn't be more than 22, 23. I was sitting there with my big eyes. I was actually scared for the poor fellow. <laughs> He explained policy, and my mother politely listened, and then he said the wrong thing. Well, when your husband pays your bills. Oh. My husband doesn't pay my bills. I pay my bills with my money from my job, and I want my name on my credit card. And the man just looked at her and said, ma'am. And they heard it. E wrong answer. <laughs> you know what she said? Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> Can I borrow a pair of scissors? I said, don't give it to her. Don't give it to her. She's going to kill you. <laughs> she took those scissors and cut that credit card into four pieces and gave it back to the man and said, you tell whoever made the policy he's stupid and he's lost a customer for life. And when he asks you who, you tell him, Ms. G. Later, when Sears had financial problems, my mother would just giggle watching the news every night. <laughs> my neighbor also learned this that my mother was tough to deal with. My mother wasn't just Southern, she was country. Her name wasn't actually Jean, it was Ima Jean. <laughs> Leash laws were for people in the city. Those dogs just ran. They owned the neighborhood, not us people. Well, our neighbor didn't like that. And he was saying that he was disappointed, that he had to clean up stuff, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that he was going to call the dog catcher. Eep! Wrong answer. 
my mother just looked at him and said, Oh, bless you, <laughs> The next day, my mother had a tow truck bring an old junker car, parked it right in the parking or driveway right next to his house. No windows, rust, graffiti on the side, District 37, baby <laughs> On, born on board, there was even a plunger in the back seat. <laughs> that man came out and said, You can't park that thing, that's an old junk car. My mother said, I read the rules, as long as the car moves, it can stay anywhere I want it to go. The police would drive by, and my mother would say, Boys, move the car. There was no engine, we had to push the car. <laughs> About a month later, my mother had that car taken away, but that guy never called the dog. <laughs> my brother was just as ornery as my mother. One day, he set the doghouse on fire. It wasn't that my mother cared about the, setting the doghouse on fire. That dog in that doghouse. <laughs> it was because she had to leave her fans and her misty to get away from me. <laughs> she said, get me a switch. Now, for you Yankees, a switch is a long <laughs> stick of your mother will beat you. Now, that may be child abuse today, but that, back then, my mother called it good parenting. <laughs> my brother came in with a stick this big. My mother said, get me a big switch. He came dragging in a branch. <laughs> she laughed so hard, she let it go. <laughs> Well, I moved away trying to get away from this evil temper. So as I said, I moved to Missouri. My mother was in Virginia. And one day, this beautiful girl walked by. And just like my mom, I liked the way she wagged her tail. And I fell in love with that cougar, and nine weeks later, we were getting married. But I didn't want her to meet my mom. And they were too much alike. I was scared to death. So I made all these excuses. And my wife, my fiance, bought in. But I called my mother. We didn't have enough money, we didn't have time off. Next day a check for a thousand dollars came in the mail. Not, just a note said, you're not marrying someone I've never met. Yeah. So I explained to my wife we had to go, and she said, well, why the change of heart? I said, I guess my mom just wants to see if you're good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> my wife looked at me and said, bless your heart. <laughs>